Hey Vape Sauce, Nico here. The electronic cigarette, or the vape pen as the cool kids are saying these days, was invented by Home Leak in 2003. The original intention of the electronic cigarette was to lean off smokers from smoking cigarettes so much. But now it has turned into a very popular trend among young teenagers to blow the fattest vape. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're vaping in the park. <laughs> Let's go interview my brother about vaping. Hey, Vape Sauce, I'm here in my garage with my brother Joey. Uh, he is uh, 25 years old, recently graduated from college, and I convinced him to vape for me today. So, Joey, introduce yourself. Hey, everyone, Joey Micheletti. Uh, just graduated college, so I have a little bit of experience of what a nicotine buzz feels like and kind of what I'm looking for. So, yeah. Uh, so, Joey, uh, you, you've been vaping for 25 minutes now, so what, what are you feeling in your head, mental-wise? Um, you know, kind of going backwards towards the, um, the college experience and with the chew and the, the nicotine there, I'm kind of feeling the same um, feelings that I did there. It's just kind of a mental alertness, which is a common, um, uh, from what you've told me, is a common reaction, with common nicotine, reaction with nicotine, more focused and alert. Um, I'm feeling a little bit tingly in my legs and feet. I never really experienced that before, but I am getting that kind of wash over of numbness and that buzz that I experienced with chew and the nicotine and chew. So um, let's step away from your mental side of what's happening. Uh, how are your, how's your breathing? Um, there's definitely a significance. Um, my voice is a little bit rougher just from doing this interview and, and doing this for half an hour, 25 minutes. I'm significantly rougher in the throat. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling more on an immediate physical side. And it's just so, uh, vape juice, it mainly composes of nicotine, propylene glycol, and vegetable glycerin. Let's head to the whiteboard to discuss these three ingredients more. Now, before we head to the whiteboard, I would just like to thank my brother for doing my doodles because my artwork and artistic ability is so bad, it's equivalent to John's handwriting. Because John's handwriting is so bad, it looks like he's writing in Arabic, and I will also not be talking about vegetable glycerin to save time because vegetable glycerin is extremely close to propylene glycol. Glycol is propylene glycol is a synthetically made chemical that is used to deliver the nicotine into the body, it, so it can be absorbed in the bloodstream. It is generally safe by the FDA. You will not get harmed. By propylene glycol and as you can see as its chemical structure it's extremely close to water. Propylene glycol is also used in theatrical or fake fires so the ones that really don't even get off any heat yep that's propylene glycol. So nicotine is the drug I really wanted to look at because it's very addictive and very controversial it's basically what's causing all the vaping controversy. Now, nicotine is a natural occurring chemical that is in the nightshade plant, and it's nightshade plants also in the same family as the green pepper. Now, the health effects to nicotine is you will become a little bit more alert and sharp. If you intake the nicotine through your lungs, you will start coughing a lot. Ask my brother. And when you smoke or do anything and take nicotine, your memory actually improves for a small amount of time. Now the long term of negative effects is like stuff like lung disease, heart disease, and here's the chemical structure of nicotine. And nicotine is also put in stuff like cigarettes and non-smokeless tobacco. And if you want to go check out more cool science vids like this, go to chemistryislife.com. Dude, we're vaping in the park. <laughs>